Yeah, I mean, I've filed three SETI reports, which is my insider trading over the last 45 days, and I've acquired uh, 700,000 shares. Joining us for a conversation is Judson Coulter, the CEO of Rover Metals. Mr. Coulter, welcome to the show, sir. Hey, thank you for having me, Maurice. <laughs> well, it's a great time to be speaking with you today as Rover Metals has just announced the results of the ground IP survey on the Cabin Gold project. Before we begin, Mr. Coulter, please introduce us to Rover Metals and the unique opportunity the company presents to shareholders. Rover Metals is a junior gold miner and we're focused on Canadian and U.S. only precious metal projects, specifically gold. Um, we trade on both the uh, Toronto Venture Exchange and uh, the OTCQB. Speaking of the Cabin Gold Project, sir, take us on site and briefly remind us of the value proposition before us. Well, yeah, what we had when we started two years ago was we had a historic property that was very high grade. Uh, it, uh, it had a historical resource on it, so it was a great starting point. Uh, in the last two years, we invested $3 million Canadian into the project and uh, we've both confirmed and expanded upon uh, those historical ounces. And today, you know, we're sitting on uh, a pre-resource disclosure um, of, you know, roughly eight grams per ton on average, very high grade gold. And, um, you know, as a company itself and the Cabin Gold Project, this would be you know, later this year, if we're successful in bringing the resource to the market, this would be our, our maiden resource uh, disclosure uh, as a company. So kind of excited about that. Well, I'm equally excited as a shareholder. Let's get into today's announcement as Rover Metals is releasing results from its phase two exploration program on the Cabin Gold Project with the release today on the group IP survey on the Cabin Gold Project and in particular the Beaver Zone and the Andrew South Zone. Mr. Coulter, what can you share with us? Well, you know, what's really exciting about the IP results, I mean, first and foremost, before we, you know, in, embarked on this like 20, 21,000 meter ground IP survey, first we tested it to make sure it would work. And so we tested it. It doesn't always work. Um, we're very fortunate that it works for us because it's a much lower cost uh, exploration tool than, than always having to drill. And so what's exciting is the drilled areas, the proven gold zones, which we now have three. We have three zones that are proven on the project, Arrow, Beaver, and Andrew. Um, these new IP anomalies have come, you know, right in these areas. So we're just really calling them an extension of these existing zones. Um, they've never been drilled historically. Uh, in the case of the Beaver zone, we have a 200 meter anomaly extension to the south. Uh, that goes right into the bonanza, the high grade part of the project. And um, so, you know, listen, we've we've already got, you know, more than we could really uh, bite off and chew with regards to drill targets in terms of these existing zones being completely open to depth. Well, now we've got three new, like huge anomalies, like, they, you know, in the other case, the, uh, the IP anomaly is like also 200 meters long, and that's the Andrew South IP anomaly. And so there's just an incredible amount of discoveries that and discovery potential still on the project. And, you know, we keep finding new stuff having, you know, we're, we're into it now, as I said, for about $3 million in expiration and um, got this average grade un undisclosed. Uh, so this is forward looking. We have an average grade at about eight grams per ton across the project right now. And so, yeah, it's exciting. I mean, you know, we're looking at gold prices today or above $1,800 US an ounce. And I think that's going to hold. And so the economics are developing this project uh, this year. Um, they're just, they're, they're good. Now, speaking of those grades, you also disclosed some high grade gold assay results from the Beaver Zone. Can you comment on that? Sure. Yeah. I know the Beaver Zone, which is where one of the areas that we were able to infill and delineate last year in 2021. Um, you know, like some of some of the results, like just to, to rip them off, I'm just going to look at my sheet here. Uh, six and a half meters of five grams per ton, six meters of uh, three and a half grams per ton, five meters of three grams per ton. So, you know, that and that's just on the northern part of this IP anomaly. If you if you follow it down, 
it leads right into the Bonanza Aero Zone, which is what the IP is showing. And that's where we had those crazy holes of 32 meters of 14 grams per ton, 22 meters of eight grams per ton. So this is, you know, a system here that uh, we've just opened up, um, you know, this, this, this new Southern extension in IP. And so, um, you know, it's, I mean, for many reasons, it's great. The, our drilling cost per meter will come down in the future. This is all within a very close area on our property. So we're really targeting uh, these specific areas now. And so, you know, on all fronts, uh, you know, this is, this is just good for, for growth of the project. It certainly is. And today's press release is a big feather in your cap. I know your team is excited as Rover is further demonstrating its proof of concept, which begs the question, what's next for Rover Metals in terms of work being done on site and press releases? Yeah, I know. I mean, right now with the volatility in the market, I had to, again, have to just reemphasize forward looking. But what we've been gearing up for is the March drill program, right? And the the hope here is, is that this March, you know, again, we have to have a share price in the market that is, you know, something we can finance at. We're just, you know, today with the, the and, you know, and last week, the volatility, um, we're not there today, but that's fine. I mean, I, we March is still a long ways away. Um, and, uh, you know, we, our goals are to drill our, our highest grade proven areas and then extend out into one or two of these IP anomalies as well. Um, with the hope of this year, uh, there'll be a subsequent drill program, most likely in the summer. Um, uh, the hope is this year for us to bring that, that free first resource to market. Switching gears, let's look at some numbers. Mr. Coulter, please provide us the capital structure for Rover Metals. Yeah, we have 117 million shares outstanding. And I just like to also let people know that that it represents 100% ownership of four gold projects. Uh, so that's reflected in that structure, that share structure. And speaking of the shares, what a great buying opportunity here. I'm licking my chops here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've filed three SETI reports, which is my insider trading over the last 45 days, and I've acquired uh, 700,000 shares uh, in the market. So I would agree with you, Maurice. That is the biggest vote of confidence right there, ladies and gentlemen. In closing, what would you like to say to shareholders? Uh, in closing, I just I think what we are seeing here is a very good buy opportunity look at the six-year chart on the gdx which is the the major gold producers or look at the the gdxj which is the gold juniors we are in you know the third cyclical low in the last you know like arguably seven eight years here and by the dip uh you know it's it's very clear if you look at the charts that this is the dip and we're at the bottom of the market and you know that's just investing 101. Mr. Coulter, for someone listening that wants to get more information on Rover Metals, please share the contact details. Yeah, I just I encourage you to visit our website at uh, rovermetals.com. Mr. Coulter, always a pleasure to speak with you. Wishing you and Rover Metals the absolute best, sir. Thanks so much for having me. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.